Hi, you're welcome. And in this video, what I'm just going to show you is how you would use breakout rooms in the session. And I'm just going to start with this sort of the most straightforward option and the one I kind of would recommend that particularly if you're doing this the first couple of times. So if you have followed the other video, you will now have breakout rooms available to you in your Zoom room. So if I go down to the bottom here, you see there's my breakout rooms. Now, if you don't see breakout rooms down here, for example, if I've got the chat on, you'll find it under more. OK, so you just need to go to breakout rooms there. Now, then what I would suggest at this point is, is that you just basically go up here and let's say create the number of breakout rooms and assign automatically. And what this will do is that Zoom will basically just simply say, look at your list of names and just assign them quite randomly into different rooms. And if you're doing this in the beginning, this could be really, really useful. You know, we'll look at the other options in another video. So let's say click on this one and then I click on create. And then what you need to do at this point is, is that if you go down here to options and it's like you have quite narrow window to do this. It's like before you kind of open all the rooms, which is where you put the people into the rooms and before, you know, uh, between kind of creating the breakout rooms and actually opening the breakout rooms, you have this option here. So go to options. And this is where you can kind of tick the option. So it says allow participants to return to the main session at any time. So if you've given people a task and they want to return early, that will allow them to do so. Put this one on as well, which means that you don't have to worry that you've put people into breakout rooms. It happens automatically. This is where you set the time for it. OK, so often, you know, when you heard me, you would have said you go into breakout rooms for five minutes, seven minutes, ten minutes. This is where I set it. And then I also have a countdown as well. And the default is 60. Now, I've asked people over this before and kind of 60 seems to be OK, but I've seen other people use, you know, 60 or 30 or 15 or 10. So, you know, the default is 60. So it gives people, you know, a minute to get done. And when you've got all that done, then what you do is you click on open all rooms. When you click on open all rooms, this automatically puts people into your breakout rooms. People are pulled into them automatically. Then um, when you're in the breakout rooms, which you've been, There'll be an option there that says they're asked for help. And what happens as the host is that I would get a message that says such and such a person in such and such a room is asked for help. And when I click on that icon, it brings me straight into the room. If you find for some reason somebody's dropped out, there's an also an option here that says add a room. So you can add another room if you want to. And um, we'll look at another one about how you can assign people to room. But right now at the beginning, I would just suggest you go with automatically. OK, hope you find this useful. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.